Welcome, Taurus, to your mid-month May reading. Welcome, all Taurians, and happy birthday to everybody. Welcome back, all subscribers, and anyone new, welcome, welcome. I already had my birthday on Mother's Day, so woohoo! And woohoo to everybody who's getting ready to have a birthday and already had one. Okay, let's get into your energy. This is what you're going to be thinking and feeling for the mid part of May. Okay, let's see what's going on with you, Taurus. And we do have that Venus in retrograde right now, so yay for that. Okay, let the love begin and the prosperity and the materialism roll right in, right? <laughs> okay, guys. And if anybody's acting kind of weird towards you and uh, you're used to them being very lovey-dovey and all of a sudden they've kind of pulled back a little bit, that's just because of Venus retrograde. Uh, she does work two different ways. She either gives abundance of love and makes everybody all lovey-dovey and you're like, whoa, you've never been like that before. Or they start pulling away and you're like, what? So there is a positive and negative to each planet and that is pretty much her positive and negative. Okay. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. Let's see what is in your energy. Looks like you got the star card, the star card, hoping, praying, healing, doing things of that nature. Let's see why. What is going on for Taurus? Okay, we have the partnerships and alliances. Okay, so it looks like you're hoping, praying for partnerships and alliances. You got the star going on over here. <clears throat> okay, it could be some promising opportunity, bright future, looking optimistic, insight, um, spiritual love, good omens, faith, truth, stuff like that, right? So, Lots of different things with the star card. I keep pulling this. I need to pull this up just a little bit here, guys. Because I keep pulling it down every time I'm shuffling. Okay. So, yeah. And it uh, looks like it's for the optimism of a partnership is really what I'm seeing here. I'm wishing for a star. Also thinking maybe that there's some... Uh, Maybe second chances going on over here as well, is what I'm kind of hearing. Um, I got the hope card, which is the same as the star card, right? So, and then you have the realizations with the triumph and success over here, which is the same as the ace of swords. So, um, realizations of growth and opportunities, promises as well. So, it's almost kind of like um, having the kind of ace of swords going in its way. Okay. And what is this? Uh, movement choices and decisions. And third eye chakra. So it's like I can see, I can see, um, you know, all these things going on. I can see the hope. I can see the new um, opportunities, the new realizations for the movement choices and decisions. It's like you can see all those things. And how did you get to this hope? It's from the solitude in the past not having authority. There was some deception and envy going on with dis, uh, discontent. Um, really with the deception and envy though, I'm also kind of seeing that it's more like a hump thing going on here. It was almost kind of like you were getting over a hump, you know, um, kind of stuck in the middle. It's kind of like that um, trying to climb a mountain, but it's too steep. So you keep uh, like sliding down right? You keep kind of sliding down with this person. I do feel it's a person that you're having problems with. Um, I have the transformation card in the near future with the light, which is the sun card. Triumph and success and wisdom. So yeah, and at the bottom of the deck is harmony, <clears throat> feeling more harmony. Um, in the past over here, it's like you went into this, the solitude card is the, the uh, hermit card. You could be dealing with a uh, Virgo. Um, 
but then you have the authority upside down. You could be dealing also with a Aries or a Taurus. Um, but then you have the deception over here. And it just feels like, like I said, trying to climb a mountain with somebody who's not really showing their true side for some reason. It's almost like they're wearing a false mask against you. And it's like they're being false for this, for this time being. Maybe they're hiding secrets. I don't know. I just feel like there's secrets or they're acting weird and you're really in your head about that. You have the uh, King of Swords coming out. You're going into hermit mode in the past and you're trying to think logically about what is going on, trying to communicate, um, but you're not really getting across as being any kind of authority or having any kind of authority with this thinking or this communication, even though you know what you're saying is the truth with the king of swords it just feels like you can't uh win any battles it's like i'm communicating trying to tell them something and they're just not listening but i know what i'm saying is the truth and they're telling me i'm not saying the truth like they're making it sound like it's this way when it's not this way it's that way you know and it's, it's like everything i say three of wands is not going the way it needs to be it's almost like they're in disbelief that I'm even opening my mouth to tell the truth. It's They know I'm telling the truth, but they're not going to um, acknowledge me as being truthful about it at all. They're, and that's where that deception kind of feels like it's coming from, is they're not um, going to own up. Okay? They're not going to own up to what they're doing. Okay, but you're determined no matter how much they hurt you with maybe verbal, maybe they verbally uh, call you bad names or something because uh, I have the hurt, trying to get through the hurt and the pain and being, no matter what, you're going to continue to keep speaking the truth. You know that this person was, you know, I don't know, the Nine of Cups is not upside down, but I did hear codependent. Is a little codependent upon you or you're a little codependent upon them. Um, however, but the Nine of Cups did come up because it felt like also that you had the satis uh, you had a satisfied relationship until this all started happening. You just don't understand where this behavior came from. Um, I'm also hearing kind of like we're at the five year, two year, five year hump. Um, when you're when you've been together for so long, we have these um, little tips and nips that we go through. Where it's like everything's fine, and then all of a sudden we have to get through the two-year, five-year hump. We get to the top of the roller coaster. Now we're trying to get all the way to the top. We're fighting. And as soon as it's over, though, you know you'll come down. Maybe you've done this in the past. For those who were married, you've done this before. And you know what I'm talking about. Um, or you've been together really long relationships. And it just feels like it's kind of like that, but you don't understand where this false mask is coming from this person. Um, your person is just not acting the way they usually act, and you're trying to figure it out. They're very imbalanced, and it's almost like the more that you try to continue to tell them the truth, the more they're denying that this is happening. It's almost like um, maybe they're narcissistic or taking on a narcissistic behavior where they cannot do anything wrong. And even though you know you're saying the truth, you're still wrong. Nothing you can say is truth. Nothing you can say is right. They have to be right. And maybe for some of you, you know your person is a little narcissistic and a little egomatic. And you're kind of used to it, except for this one's really bad. And you're like, whoa, this went to the next level. And then for some of you, it's kind of like, I didn't know that they could be that way. I don't know where this came from. Um, yeah. But it's really kind of devastating you because I do kind of hear like there could be sour words that are being said that you've never heard your person ever say that to you before. Like you got into an argument and they literally called you a bad name and like they've never said anything like that to you before and it really like got you disgruntled, right? Like what? Did you really just say that to me? I cannot believe after all the time that we've been together, that you would seriously call me that, right? <clears throat> or say something like that to me. And I'm really feeling that. And then it makes you think like, oh my God, who is this person? I'm like, 
don't even know you. Like, I can't even believe you would say something like that. And yeah, it made you feel like you lost your person with the death card. You took like a partial loss to this relationship. It made you um, go inside yourself. You just, like I said, discontent and boredom. Like, I cannot even believe that. They gave you 10 of swords when they said that. You're trying to move past, you're trying to move past the pain and, um, and this behavior that they gave you, but it really sent you out into the cold with yourself. It even, I feel insecurities coming on and I feel the insecurities with the Nine of Swords. Like I can't, I still just cannot believe that you said that. So, um, yeah, that's really where you started healing and getting into your star card over here and trying to hope and pray. And I actually feel like you're hoping and praying that your person gets out of, yeah, <clears throat> gets out of this, um, toxic, uh, abusive, false mask wearing, strange behavior. Being a little devil is what they're doing. Acting like a demon. Some of you may even say and saying, that's not my husband, that's not my boyfriend, that's not my girlfriend, that's not my wife, that's a, like a demon, you know? This is the dark side of them, so you're like hoping and praying they get out of this dark energy that you're feeling, um, and moving past, past it with, um, with the Knight of Wands, you want your passionate person to come back to you, the person that you know, um, could be an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo that you're dealing with, this is a, an Aries card for me, um, but definitely, and then for some of you, you could be dealing with an Aquarius um, or an air sign, lots of air over here, or a Scorpio as well. Um, could be Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini, or a Scorpio. That's really all I see, though, a whole lot. doesn't have to be. It could be even a Capricorn. Um, <clears throat> but I do see Libra again and the Justice. So, uh like I said, it doesn't have to be, it could be anybody, but yeah, you're hoping and praying with the Ace of Pentacles, and I do see this Hope card, this is my Ace of Pentacles and the Star card together, so here they come together, um, because it's the hopes and the promises and the dreams and opportunities in which the Ace of Pentacles is as well, um, and yeah, you're just hoping and praying that they get back together, because you would like to have this fresh new start with them, you want them to I just feel like you just want your person back. You don't know where they went. Yeah, because everything you guys are doing right now is fighting with the five of wands. Every time I turn around, it's an argument. I can never win with the king of cups upside down. I never win. I can't win anything. It just brings separation and pain for me. You know, and I just feel like you don't really want to separate you. I do believe in a lot of ways you have separated, but I don't know if it's actually a real 100% se separation for everyone. Um, it could just be that, you know, he now lays on the couch. <laughs> I put him in the doghouse, right? And um, for others of you, it's like, I, I don't take their texts. I don't take their messages. I, you know, until they can really show me something, you know, until they can show me something better uh, with the Wheel of Fortune, I can't. I can't focus on them anymore, but I am manifesting because I can see that there are, you know, we could be a power couple together. We could be beautiful together because we have been in the past. It's just that I don't understand what the hell they're doing. For some of you, it's because they're cheating, guys. Okay. That's just for some of you because I got the three of swords now with the three of pentacles. Some of you, they are being recognized by someone else, but... No matter what, I still see them as they love you. They still see you as their Ten of Cups. But they want a second chance with you. And it looks like you want a second chance with them. You're just tired of their secrets. And it looks like there's many secrets with the Seven of Cups next to it. And maybe when they drink, um, that's when they become jerks. For those of you who are not in a third-party situation. Um, and remember, third-party situation does not mean it has to be 100% cheating. It could be because of a mother, a brother, a friend. Um, so when I say third party situation, it does not mean cheating. It could be your mother-in-law is involved. Um, your sister-in-law, his friends, whatever. Okay. It could be anything like that. Okay. So, um, yeah. And that's for some of you. And then um, for some others of you, it could be cheating because he's been seeing 
being seen on a pedestal by someone else. And then for some of you, it might not even be that they're cheating. Maybe they just literally, someone at work is putting them on a pedestal. They might not even be cheating. They're just seeing this other person giving them a lot of attention. But, and he's in, he or she is enjoying this attention, but they're not really cheating. They're just enjoying the attention from this other person. Um, but they really do love you. It's just that they're, maybe they're trying to put you on a pedestal to act like this other person too. Huh. So, but there is a second chance coming and it looks like they want a second chance and it looks like deep down you want a second chance because of nostalgic behavior. Um, because you see the past and they see the past and they realize that you guys do do good together, but <clears throat> they're trying to get past. It looks like your person is trying to get past their five of swords, their deceit and their deception. Looks like whatever the deceit and deception was in the past, um, it looks like your person actually is trying to get past this. Okay, because they understand that they did lose you and that their relationship is weak and at a loss. Okay, they do know that. And it looks like they do want a second chance. They want a new chapter with you, with the world. Because they do love you with the lovers. Okay. And they're coming to offer apologies to you uh, for their bad behavior. It's just whether or not you want to take it. <clears throat> okay. So over here in the near future, you have... Um, you have the transition card, which is the death card, the sun, the triumph, and uh, the wisdom. So it's like... A <laughs> Looks like a transformation is within the Hierophant. So whether that's a transformation of faith that you're going to give yourself and have more faith and uh, more religious values. Are you going to church? Are you doing something different within your life? Um, that could be a transition or, or is, is it a transition within self and soul? Or is it the transition within the relationship? Um, getting back kind of your roots um, to a relationship for the four of wands for this perfect, more harmonious um, household, like I said, or just roots and passions for yourself with the six of wands. It's going to be a little bit different for everyone, whether or not you're really going to take this person back or not. Um, some of you will and some of you won't uh, reconcile, okay, because some of you are going to feel like they were a thief, they stole your heart, okay, and um some of you, it's not going to feel that way at all. The Seven of Swords is also hope. So some of you are going to feel very hopeful with the nurse relationship getting back to where you need to be. And some of you are going to feel like he was a thief or she was a thief and they stole my happiness, my love. And I'm regrouping myself into um, loving myself and getting back to the happiness that I need with the Sun card over here. Okay, text messages coming in with the Eight of Wands. Text messages coming in fast with the Knight of Swords. Okay, but you're still having some insecurities um, every time you're getting these text, these text messages. Um, who are you getting insecurities from is what I'm wondering. <clears throat> Ooh. The Emperor. From an older person. Some of you have told your dad or your grandfather or your uncle or somebody older than you, mother or father, somebody about this relationship. <clears throat> and I do feel like um, this is not for everybody, but uh, whoever you had instilled that your relationship was kind of going down the toilet and this person was acting this way, this emperor is coming back to tell you. Um, and this is for those of you who had re reconciled that you were being, I believe, foolish to do such a thing because this emperor is giving you um, insecurities every time they message you, call you, talk to you, and communicate with you about this relationship that you're having with this. Um, I'm telling you, for most of you, this is a uh, air sign this time. Um, this uh, Libra, Aquarius, or uh, Gemini. 
and they are telling you, I believe that you're being foolish and that you need to stand your ground and be a little more smart about what you're doing. They do not trust this person at all. And um, they do not think that you should take this person back. It's also making me wonder if this is the third person in the party. Was it you who had a third person that you were talking to? Because this person is uh, definitely telling you that they do not agree with your behavior. Um, and then for some of you also, they were cheating on you or whatever. And this person is telling you that they see them as a player and that players don't change. Um, okay, so, and that's for some of you. Um, but for the majority of you, you're just feeling a little insecure because your relationship is coming back around and you're just kind of worried that um, even though you're at emperor status over here in your house with your person and everything's getting back to uh, normal again in the near future, you're still a little worried with the page of wands that your person might return back to this um, this false masked identity and it kind of worries you um but otherwise you feel like the nine of pentacles and no matter how you guys see it uh whether it was the first one where this old this older person is telling you that they think this is unwise and they're still looking out yada um you still feel like the like you've achieved what you need through wisdom and moving forward so <clears throat> take it how it resonates because your um, depression is not as bad as it was um, because you're becoming wiser. So even um, you know you're having a more hopeful outlook. You still, like I said, you're still going to have a little insecurities, you know, because going through something like this, no matter what, is going to still make you feel a little insecure. <clears throat> okay. But it does look like your relationship, for the most part, for most of you, is a determination to get back to where you belong with strength within the relationship of both of you. Um, and for a lot of you, it's because you are a power couple. Your person might even be, um, this could be the insecurities of your person, but you are a power couple. Um, and just have any insecurities from this emperor himself or herself. Um, take it how it resonates you guys okay but yeah definitely and for those of you who didn't take them back no matter what you're still just determined to become the empress that you deserve to be okay so that was that and let's see now the romance cards are going to probably be about two different decks because you have the ones that are going to reconcile and then the ones that are not going to reconcile right so let's see what spirit has to say yeah, make the effort to make the relationship stronger. Great love is worth taking the steps to be guided to take. And that's because, like I said, you guys are a power couple for those of you. Okay, but there was deception in this relationship. False mask. Um, like I said, it didn't have to be something really horrible. It could have just been a backslide within the relationship. Maybe they had some secrets. Maybe they were spending money where they shouldn't be spending money. Something of the sort. Something that you can actually maybe even get counseling for. Um, to get back to or just um, have communication and talk with each other. Um, this will be a forgiving and learning session for you because um, it's going to be one of those humps that you need to get over and you guys will learn and uh, forgive each other through the learning process of it. You did have, and then for some of you, you did need to retreat. And for some of you, you're also going to retreat with yourself. So this is actually two in one card. You're actually going to retreat uh, for some of you, retreat to go forgive and maybe go on a retreat together so that you have more together time to learn and heal and get the um, time that your relationship needs to heal together. And for others of you, it's retreat as in you're going to retreat. Bye-bye. Got to go. Releasing you. I don't want anything to do with you. Okay. But for the majority of it, it looks like the majority of you are going to... Um, Stay optimistic about this. Make the effort. Uh, give your relationship a chance. Um, yeah, keep an open mind. And then for some of you, here it comes. Here comes the other ones. For some of you, you've just lost love for this person. They've treated you so horrible. You just cannot forgive them for their, their deception. You just cannot get over their 
uh, whether they put you down, called you, like I said, called you a bad name and stuff, and you just, you can't handle that. Um, it's unrequited love. You just really seriously fell out of love with this person. You just, there's nothing in the world this person can do for you at this time. They've hurt you so bad with them calling you nasty names. It's just not going to happen or third party situations of uh, cheating, whatever it is. Um, and you're going to release your ex. Okay. So yeah. And there's definitely not that I do not see a reconciliation card. Um, but we have all of these over here, which pretty much say the same thing. You're going to forgive and um, grow with each other. There it is, getting to know each other um, again. And a lot of you, it's because you have children. Um, and then that's going to be healing family issues. <clears throat> okay, and there goes all my cards on the ground. <laughs> I will pick those up later. But um, the good thing is, is there's nothing else coming out unless we want to use, 50, you know, 52 cards on the ground. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's what Spirit says. And um, so we'll just say pretty much this looks like reconciliation. And uh, for those of you um, over there, you're just not going to accept their apology. You just can't. You just don't have the, um, the means to, right? So um, Spirit says, yes, this success within this relationship and whatever's going to happen is going to be within perfect timing and and just remain positive so even if you're even if you're letting them go just remember you still have success coming your way whether you let them go or not um within perfect timing so just remain positive okay and that's for you guys Okay, and that was for you, Tauruses, and like I said, happy, happy birthday. I was singing the happy birthday song, but it'll take a long time, so happy birthday to us, and until next time, my friends, please like and subscribe, and I will see you then, and um, I will pray for you guys, and um, that you guys get exactly what you need and deserve in life, okay? And may the learning lessons become your stepping stones to life, okay? Love and peace, my friends. Bye-bye.